Ciao. Hello my Aquarian friends, it's Guiding Milo here and this is going to be a snapshot from now to the end of July. Let's see what we got going on for you guys. We just finished with our full moon lunar eclipse. Some crazy energies going on right now. For sure there are. Uh, let's see, we have... What do we have going on? We have Mercury going direct on... August 2nd. I wanted to say February. I don't know why I wanted to say February. Are you guys dealing with, you know, another sign such as yourself? Maybe something is going to happen that's very significant for someone in February. So we have the Eight of Wands. We have events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. And we have the Ace of Cups. The Divine is saying it's time to get started. Falling in love, the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition, a new home. So someone might be moving, hey? A brand new situation, a brand new thing that you can put all of your time, effort, energy into, something that you can give into and start fresh and new. Beautiful, my Aquarian friends. All right, tell me what these messages coming in are about. Events moving at a fast pace. Delays are over. Many things happening at once. Hmm. What are my Aquarians up to? Oh, you've been holding on tight. Maybe feeling a little bit defensive and defending your beliefs. Going inward to take a different perspective. You could be saving your money and trying to invest it. Or, or keep it for the long term. Maybe you feel something's about to change and you're not sure how exactly to handle it. Could also be some sort of knowledge, being this is a general reading, that you're sitting on that you're not going to share yet. And perhaps you're going inward to find clarity from the divine about what to do with it or how to utilize it. We have walking away from emotional turmoil and strife straight to your Nine of Cups. That's what you want to do. Perhaps you've been single for a while. Maybe this going in and asking for clarity is about being single now. Or perhaps you've been single for a while. Let's get some more cards here. Buckling down, getting the work done. It's about building your financial stability and security. That weight is over. That seven of pentacles is over, my friends. We got the eight of pentacles here. And we have you learning and growing. Working in tandem with other people. Being a team player. I think you want to be a team player and you want to work with everybody. For now, you've been dealing with some dealing with working alone, perhaps, or maybe you've been working with everybody, learning and growing, and now you're gonna take some time and work alone. Maybe you're gonna step out on your own, put the work in, get the work done. The wheel of fortune's gonna spin in your favor, but you're all up in your head about whether you should work on your own or maybe start a home business or a your own business venture and you're all up in your head about whether you should do that. This is a person who's struggling, in my opinion, between we have point A, we have point B. We don't have any clue exactly how we're going to get there. Or if we do have a clue of how we want to get there, we don't know if it's even going to happen. We're like, how is it going to work? I hope it works. I don't know what to do. But the divine is stepping in to bring you equal reciprocity here. And the reason I say the divine is stepping in and not somebody is because it's right on the wheel of fortune, which is divine timing. Now, this could have been you working alone because someone refused to be that team player for a while. Someone refused to be that team player. You decided to work alone. The Wheel of Fortune spins in your favor. Someone comes back and says to you, wait one second. I think I've changed my mind. 
Let's work together. Let's grow together. Maybe you are looking for someone to invest in your company or invest time and effort into a relationship or a situationship in some way, shape, or form, possibly with a new home, maybe a roommate moving in or something, or sharing a home or even selling a home so that you could move forward and you weren't sure it was going to happen. I'm even getting that someone might have been trying to flip a house in some way, shape, or form. And we have worry about it, but the Wheel of Fortune is spinning in your favor, and we have something coming along to either give funds, time, or effort to bring balance and justice. Well, I'm going to take that since it just flipped off like that. It's a bit of a crossroads for you. I don't know if you're sure exactly what to do, but the Divine's trying to bring a situation together here for two people to work together. I wonder if you're wondering now if you can trust it. And maybe that's what's got you all up in your head because it's like, well, you said no. Why are you saying yes now? We have an apology card possibly or an emotional offer. An offer brand new, possibly about a same situationship or scenario I'm getting, but it's brand new. This person coming back with a brand new idea, emotional offer of how to change things up. And then we have all up in our head about it, still not sure what to do. Falling in love, the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, and enhanced intuition. And we have a big offer coming your way, straight from the hand of the divine. It like it just appears out of the blue. Perhaps that's what this is, so maybe you should trust it, my friends. Going inward to find clarity on a scenario. Maybe you're all up in your head about a Virgo energy, or somebody who's very... Hermity, who likes to hermitize, <laughs> which actually in turn makes them a wee bit on the wise side, a lot on the wise side, because they go inward to find clarity from the divine. We have a lot of going inward here right now to find, to figure out what the actual heck is going on. We have the Hierophant, which is all about long-term commitment, spiritual beliefs. Perhaps this is offer is something that's really going to take you for the long term. If you're buying a new home at somewhere, you're going to love to live and live to love in this home. Creative new passionate idea. Messages coming in. Things moving at a fast pace after a pause. That's for sure. And we have the divine stepping in here, blowing their trumpets, saying, wait a second. Just hold up. There's something that you thought was going to continue for a very long time and then you is coming forward and the divine wants you to use your intuition about it. You know what? I'm going to put this over here because I'm going from left to right. Use your intuition about this information. If this is messages coming your way, really use your intuition about it. That's why you're going inward. Good job, guys. You're going to feel left out in the cold. The divine stepping in to change your trajectory. But Why? Why would the divine step in to change your trajectory? Oh, because you feel left out in the cold, the divine is going to step in, change your trajectory. Big old offer is going to happen. It's going to carry you for the long term. And we have the Ten of Pentacles, my friends. This is out and out abundance. This is, this is beautiful is what this is. Mm -hmm. Sure is. You're concerned yeah, this equal reciprocity, this money coming in, possibly to help you buy that home with a down payment, possibly to help you start that new business venture. Uh-huh. You're concerned about lies, cheating, stealing. You're you're concerned that, that someone's trying to get one over you on you, somehow pull something. You're worried about that. Yeah, I think that's why you're all stressed. It's because you just don't know if you can trust it. And then we have the Queen of Swords, which is your guys' energy. You know, it's all about fair and just decisions. This queen does not wield that sword unless she has done her homework. Think of what you have to go through in all of the swords situations in order to get in the tarot deck to the Queen of Swords. That's a whole lot of up in your head, a whole lot of knowledge and understanding, and a lot of going through a lot of crap in order to be able to cut out the BS like that. And then we have the Five of Cups again here. Oh, it's not again. That was a different reading. I'm sorry. <laughs> we have the Five of Cups here. So if someone is grieving or a situation, possibly, and not seeing the beauty that's behind it, 
or perhaps something ended due to lies, cheating, and stealing. It does bring in a bountiful amount of money, but it's still you're still hurt by the heartbreak that is there. There's still heartbreak here. But I guess what you don't see coming is this beautiful Ace of Cups here, right? And then we have the Seven of Pentacles, so there will be another brief period of waiting. Or perhaps there already has been, but let's see what's, what the Divine wants us to know. What connects these two scenarios here? We have things moving at a fast pace, and then falling in love, the resurgence of a relationship. So this person coming in could be someone that you've loved before. The resurgence of a relationship could also be that. It could also be business. Falling in love with a new way of doing things. Creating the absolute new. The ace of air. Brilliant new ideas and inspirations. Seeing the truth of a situation. A challenging beginning. So maybe you have to move due to an ending that happens somewhere in a relationship scenario. The Ace of Pentacles. So we have one, two, three. Do we have an Ace of Swords? I don't see one. We have three Aces. We are one, two, three. We have two Ace of Pentacles, an Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. So four Aces all together. And this offer that's coming to you, this financial whatever it is, is huge because we got two of them right side by side. I think that's just clarity from the divine telling you to trust it. Trust the inflow of abundance, promising business venture, important documents or contracts. The advice from the divine, the angels, caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. So you want to make sure everyone's on the up and up, that there's no cheating, lying, stealing going on. Absolutely. And it could have to do with your marriage or it could be a situation ship in a business or it could be a marriage of businesses even. It could be a marriage of real estate companies. King of Swords. We have soulmate energy here. So if there's something you want to create in your marriage... The absolute new is coming in, and this is all about divine timing. It's about divine stepping in and changing your trajectory. Perhaps there's something that you want to heal and try and work with. You want to work together, but you've been working on your own. The Wheel of Fortune spins. You're at a crossroads. All of a sudden, you have equal reciprocity in love and an emotional offer, but you're all up in your head about that because you already started creating the new. Then we have something that will carry you for the long term, Brand new offers. Use your intuition. We have the inflow of abundance coming. If you're thinking possibly about going back to someone you were married to before or whatever, I think the divine's asking you to really search out if this is the way you want to go. Because I think it has consequences. And perhaps that's what the Five of Cups is about. It's about being upset over the consequences of the actions we take. There's a justice card. So, the Divine stepping in to bring justice to a situation. We have the Six of Swords already moving a rough from away from rough waters to calm waters, heading towards the new, the awesome. And we have the Five of Cups again. I knew it was going to come out just because I said that. So, the Five of Cups yet again. Grieving, mourning, crying, being upset because something you wanted did not turn out the way you'd hoped. But I see you taking that leap of faith as the fool here. Leap of faith towards what? What are we leap of faithing towards, my friends? The five of pentacles. Taking the leap of faith possibly to leave somebody out in the cold if they've been feeling out in the cold and go focus on what? Bringing in your abundance. Well, I can't say is that's a bad thing, my Aquarian friends. Because, you know, sometimes you just got to walk away. You got to let go and let God. And sometimes you have to take control of the reins and take the new. And I'm telling you, there is new all over this board right now. I don't know who this will resonate for, but blessings to you.